people of my generation who did know this stuff back in the 1980s have either forgotten it or maybe more accurately have, have actively repressed that information because it's so painful to think about what will happen if there's a nuclear war. The entire weapon system is deep underground. It is often more economical to excavate the entire complex. Construction required removal of 600,000 cubic yards of earth for each launcher complex. I had been involved with Physicians for Social Responsibility since 1978. The original organization Dr. Lowne founded in the 1960s. Dr. Lowne referred us to a series of articles published in the New England Journal of Medicine back in 1962, which described in great detail the medical consequences of nuclear war. And all of us were just blown away by this. Um, like everybody else, we had not begun to understand the extent of the destruction. The Union of Concerned Scientists was started in 1968. The students that were uh, engaged in this were very focused on MIT's role in the military industrial complex. And my wife, who's you know, followed this for years, will say, we're doing too much research without knowing where it's going. We in the, in the faculty, who had been concerned about the nuclear arms race for a, a long time, organized this uh, meeting at MIT, which was a big meeting, you know, filled the biggest editorial, generated interest across the country. There was a statement signed by about 40 senior faculty. It basically decried that so much of uh, scientific expertise and resources are being used for the arms race as compared to uh, civilian purposes. This outstanding success story is the end result of millions of man hours of the top scientific, engineering, and skilled manpower brains of the country. Over 400,000 people representing the widest range of crafts and skills are involved in missile research and development, production and site activation. Dr. Lowndes spoke with Dr. Evgeny Chazov, who is a prominent cardiologist in Moscow and actually the personal physician at the time to Leonid Brezhnev and said, look, this isn't a military question we're talking about, this is a public health question. And we doctors have a special responsibility to do something about this. It's still true that what happened in Hiroshima could happen again a hundred times more, and, and um, I don't see what more you can say that, I mean, that was as bad as anything we can imagine.